Meet the brother and sister of weather patterns. El Nino, the boy, and La Nina, the girl. Like many siblings, they're rivals and often extremely disruptive. And human-induced climate change can make the siblings' behaviour more unpredictable and more dangerous. These weather patterns occur as a result of fluctuating ocean temperatures in what is called the East Central Equatorial Pacific Ocean, but it can also lead to extreme weather in other parts of the world. During normal conditions in the Pacific Ocean, trade winds blow west along the equator, taking warm water from South America towards Asia. To replace it, cold water rises, a process called upwelling. El Nino and La Nina change all that. If a winter is the opposite of what you'd expect, it's likely because of an El Nino event. El Nino weakens trade winds, pushing warm water back east towards the west coast of the Americas. Chances of drought increases for India, Indonesia, Australia, and a large section of the Amazon, with the southern US experiencing increased flooding. El Nino mostly affects developing countries bordering the Pacific Ocean, which depend on agriculture and fishing. El Nino's sister, La Nina, effectively argues with her brother and does the opposite. She cools the ocean surface temperatures, bringing wetter conditions for the same parts of the globe. Now, a La Nina year means colder winters in the north and milder winters in the south. She can also cause a more severe hurricane season. Episodes of El Nino and La Nina tend to happen every two to seven years and typically last between nine and 12 months, but can sometimes stay even longer. There were back-to-back -back La Ninas in 2010 and 2011. Advances in technology are helping some countries predict, respond, and adapt to the effects of El Nino and La Nina, often saving vital crops and livelihoods. Individual weather events, though, and their link to climate change is one of the key issues on the table at the world's most important climate conference, COP26.